The ADI instructional model is built around seven stages. In this video, we'll go over our seventh stage we call report. During the report stage, students write up an investigation report, share it with their peers for a peer review, and then revise the report based on that feedback and submit it to the teacher. In order to make this happen, students start by using a scaffolded sentence stem lab report, which is broken into three parts. In the introduction, they talk about the phenomenon for the investigation and their goal and the question. In the method section, they write out how they went about answering the question. On the back of the form, students have a place where they can write out the answer they got to the guiding question, lay out their evidence, and explain how they analyzed it and their justification. Once students have completed this draft, they move into the peer review part of this stage. They do this using our peer review form. They write an ID number at the top and then hand it over to some reviewers who write their IDs as well. This way it is a double blind peer review. The reviewers read through each line of the rubric and rank each as being not met, somewhat met, or fully met. And then they write some feedback for the author on how they could improve that part of the report. Once they've made it through the entire rubric, the author reads over their feedback and gives it a ranking and then types up a final investigation report using their suggestions. They reflect on the changes that they made back on this same peer review form before turning it into the teacher who can grade right on the same rubric using our zero, one, and two rankings. At the end of the rubric, there's a small box for a teacher to make a few comments and give a final score. The rubric is the same for math and science, although we do have a version for secondary and a somewhat simplified version for elementary. Some teacher behaviors to help students be successful in this stage include setting timers, having them focus on what they're writing, not necessarily a particular number of sentences, clearly communicating expectations for that peer review, modeling, and reflecting on how it went, using opportunities between investigations to help students build their writing and feedback skills, not necessarily turning everything into a teachable moment during this stage, allowing for student conversation by having students work in partners, and then finally, keeping your own feedback as a teacher pretty short and sweet, and then letting students meet with you if they have questions about how they can improve. If you have any questions about this stage, feel free to reach out at howdy at argumentdriveninquiry.com or check us out on our website.